Okay, welcome to part three. So we've developed the top of the Lego. Now we're going to go ahead and add all the additional details to the bottom of the Lego. So it's not usually empty like this. Typically there are different types of circle shapes. We have ribs as well. And it's a little hard to see, but internal circles in the Lego as well. So if you grab a Lego piece and turn it around, you'll see that. So we're going to go ahead and make that with parameters. I'm going to start a 2D sketch on the bottom of this Lego. I am going to ignore that. And I'm going to go into the side over here. Now let's draw a circle. And it doesn't really matter where you draw it, so I'm just going to draw it over there. I'm going to dimension the circle to have a diameter of 0.1 inches. And then I'm going to dimension it from the top, and don't accidentally click on this one, the top to the center of the circle to be 0.156, as well as the side to the center of the circle to be 0.156. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. And now we're going to cut the circle. So I'll extrude, click on that. I will switch it to cut and we're going to extrude it out or cut it out I believe the number is point zero two five like that click OK and it appears to have cut nice let's go ahead and pattern this like before I'm going to select the rectangular pattern tool select the circle and then I'm going to use direction one will be the length of the part, so like this line will work fine. And it's going in the right direction. So for the number we're going to have just X, so that appears six times. And for the space, 0.3125, just like before. So that's looking fine. Let's go ahead and do direction 2 now. Select that edge. I'm going to flip it around for me and the number is going to be Y and the spacing is going to be 0.3125 as well. I'm going to click OK and now we've made all those additional cuts in our Lego piece. So at this point I'd like you to head over to manage then to parameters and I would like you to fill out the comments for all of these ones. So just try to trace back your steps to when you did them and then try to give them a good comment descriptive word. You don't have to do the zero degrees. So go ahead, pause the video and do that real quick. Okay, hopefully you've done that. Let's go ahead and now add the circle extrusion to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead create another sketch and this time I'm going to draw a larger circle doesn't matter where, inside the part. I'm going to dimension the circle to be point, whoops, point 0.25 inches. And then I'm going to dimension the circle from the edge of the part to be point 0.313 or 3125, as well as this edge to that center to be point 0.313. We're going to need an additional circle. So I'm going to click on the circle and I'm going to draw this one from the center of the circle we created so that is it is less than the original and I'm going to dimension this one to be 0.2 inches. So it appears as so. I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch and then I'm going to extrude this circle out 0.325 inches. So Yes, so it's flushed with the bottom of the Lego part. And I did all these measurements beforehand, so that's how I know it is going to fit like that. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Now let's go ahead and pattern that. We're familiar with rectangular pattern, so I'm going to select that. Click on direction 1, then over here. Or actually, I forgot to fill it on the inside of the part, so let's actually apply that right now. Fill it 
it's just right over here click on that and it's just point zero zero two like the top face so it's a little hard to see but it is rounded over there now so rectangular pattern we're gonna select this as well as the fillet we created which is a little hard to select but that as well so that if you have both of them selected they should appear highlighted over here you can alternatively select them from over here and then we're going to pattern it in direction one Whoops, which is going to be that for us and we're only going to have five of these not six like we did for the other things so let's go ahead and say this is x minus one so if x minus one will be five and then if this shape increases uh, hopefully this will keep up and for the spacing it's going to be the traditional 0.3125 inches so I'm going to go ahead click OK and now we have those set and let's set Y, y while we're at it uh, I accidentally clicked OK on mine so I'm just going to head back to my rectangular pattern I can find it over here at the side if you have yours opened you can just keep it open I'm going to select direction 2 click on this edge flip it around let's say um, and this is also going to be y minus 1 so right now it doesn't show anything because we only have y equal to to 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so it wouldn't pattern itself it would just be the original and the spacing is going to be 0.3125 so I'm going to click OK and even though it appears nothing has happened this is now this now understands that if we space it out it's going to space out the Lego so I'm going to demonstrate that I'm going to head over to the manage parameters and I'm going to change my Y value from 2 let's see what happens when I change it to 3 first of all so it appears that these are moving but they're moving in the wrong way I can tell that I wanted these to be over here so I'm just gonna close this real quick head back to my rectangular pattern and I'm gonna switch the direction as you can see I'm gonna click OK now it looks good yeah that looks great okay let's actually run one more simulation if I change this to 4 I'm just kind of curious what would happen Oh, beautiful. Okay, so that seems to be per working pretty nicely right now. I'm going to switch this back to two and get it back to the original. Awesome. Okay, so we've just added a few things. Go ahead and update your comments for your parameters list of anything you haven't commented. And I would comment them myself, but if I did, then you would just copy them. So I want you to come up with the comments for them yourself. Don't just write like stuff. <laughs> cool. Okay, uh, once you've commented them, and be sure you've commented them, don't move on if you haven't. Uh, we're going to add in the ribs. Ribs are pretty straightforward. Go to 3D model, start a 2D sketch on this surface and I'm going to draw in a rectangle somewhere doesn't really matter where as long as it's a rectangle I can dimension it after like that okay so dimension I'm gonna dimension this side to this side of the rectangle to be 0 0.613 yeah that that's fine I'm actually gonna move this to this side so it looks like that I should have probably just did it there no actually I need it over here um, so yeah point six one three actually let me take a look at this so it appears it has one in the center yeah this one's a little tricky to do but yeah that and then we're gonna dimension this to this side of the rectangle to be I believe the number was 0 0.025 yes okay um, and then I need this to be on this line so I'm going to dimension 
let's say this to that if it lets me if it doesn't I'll just come up with another way yeah this is going to be 0 0.05 and this and I apologize it is a little hard to see but I'm going for that inside edge is what I'm trying to click on this is going to be 0 0.05 okay I'm going to finish the sketch and extrude that out 0 0.325 like that I'm going to click OK and you might notice right away that this is cutting through that um, but in a normal Lego piece it's actually hollow on the inside uh, something cool about Inventor that you may or may not have known is that there is an order of operations to things oh wait that didn't turn out well let me go back to that real quick what happened there oh I clicked on the wrong edge my bad okay I'm going to dimension this I apologize for that to this to 0 0.05 okay that's correct now okay yeah so go ahead and forget the order of operations thing I was just mentioning uh, that actually comes a little bit later instead we're going to do this traditionally I'm going to create a 2D sketch on this surface and then I'm going to instead of drawing out a circle and trying to pinpoint it just use that project geometry tool we used in the cell phone project or you might have or if you haven't gotten there yet you haven't uh, and project geometry what it does is it allows you to select the surfaces or edges that already exist and redraw them immediately so I can click on those two edges and you'll notice I have two green lines where those edges were and now that I have those in place I can use the arc tool and I can just connect them if it lets me select it let me try that one more time like that so I'm going to just try to eyeball that a little like that okay so you should have a complete circle I can finish that sketch and let's cut it out so extrude I'm going to select that and make sure it's on cut and 0.325 is what I'm looking for and cut it out now we're going to go ahead and pattern that rib first so I'm going to go to a rectangular pattern select the rib as my feature and then for direction one I'm going to select this edge and they are spaced 0.625 apart and I believe the number we're looking for is since this is a 2 by 6 and I only want two ribs in here that would be 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4 so that would be x minus 4 because x is 6 so 6 minus 4 is 2 that is why we have two ribs here and I'm going to click OK so now we have two ribs uh, but we also want to pattern this cut over here so let's go ahead and pattern the cut now uh, the, the cut is located right over here that's what it looks like for me uh, if you can't see it though you can select it in your browser area as well and let's go ahead for direction one same deal this line we're gonna have it 0.625 apart and it's going to be x minus four and now for the y direction so I'm gonna select that I'll select this edge We're, uh, we're going to have this be 
and then this be let's see I believe it'd be y minus 1 like that and I'll click OK okay so there there are probably a few bugs with this but there you have it this is a 2 by 6 Lego piece what I'd like you to do before you move on is head over to your manage tab to your parameters list and I'd like you to update any of the missing parameters into this list uh, and once you've done that raise your hand and show it to me before you move on that's going to conclude part three I'll see you on part four